Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, we're going to re-review this one. Uh, I had uh, some uh, over-carbonated beers that I had purchased at Total Wine uh, from American Brewing. And uh, they contacted me after I had a couple of them uh, that were way over-carbonated and admitted they had some problems on the first batch that was sent to the East Coast. And uh, they were gracious and sent me a little package uh, and fresh from the brewery. And uh, this is the last one out of that package. So thanks to Neil and the guys out there at American Brewing uh, for sending these to me. And uh, hopefully uh, this one won't be overcarbonated. They have a great reputation on the West Coast for producing some great beers. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. So this is American Brewing's uh, Caboose Oatmeal Stout. And it is a 6.2% alcohol uh, beer. Uh, the only fuss that I have is not having a date on their bottles and uh, I don't see anything digitized on it so that is the only fuss that I can harp about and I harp very regularly about those uh, beers not having dates on them so maybe they'll step up to the plate and start putting some kind of dates on these beers and I will look again when I come back after the bottle is emptied and uh, see if there's anything on them but I don't think they're dating anything yet so uh, that's the next step as far as I'm concerned that they need to do so especially if they're going to start sending the stuff out here on the East Coast because you never know how long this stuff sets on the beer store shelves before somebody like me or Joe Schmo down the street picks up some, picks up the beer and they kind of need that information so uh, I've already made a promise to y'all guys and I'm gonna probably I'm gonna try my best to stick to it Come uh, January 1st, 2014, if your beers don't have a date on it, I'm not going to buy them. Unless I know they are fresh one way or the other, either they've been sent to me or there's some kind of way that I know that they're fresh, I'm not going to purchase them. So there won't be any any more beers unless they come out of the, one, of the, one of the fridges here that I've been selling uh, some of these uh, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 percent beers that's, uh, in the... Uh, Porter or the Imperial uh, size beers. Uh, I'm not going to be purchasing any more of the beers uh, come the first of the year that don't have a date on them. And that code stuff, Julian code and all that kind of stuff, just don't cut it with me either. So put your date on the bottle and uh, I'll be happy to review it. I'll be happy to purchase it and uh, we'll go from there, guys. All you craft brewers, I hope you can hear me. That's what it's going to be. If you don't have a dating machine, you need to invest in that. Uh, I'd prefer to have just a regular month, day, and a year on it, but for the Imperial beers, just a year will, will suffice for those if they're 9, 10, 11, 12 percenters, because those will usually keep uh, for quite a while. So at least a year. We'd like to have a year on those beers anyway, so we'll know when they, you know, when they were put in the bottle, and we can uh, uh, we can sell them, sell them according. according accordingly easy for me to say all right guys let's get on with this let me flap on my gums here all right caboose oatmeal stout is american brewing company they're out of edmonds washington this is an oatmeal stout coming in at it says seven percent here but it doesn't have that on the label it's only got 6.2 here so i believe what's on the label instead of what uh, beer advocate says here uh year-round availability on this beer uh the food pairings and the glassware. Food pairing says the cheeses are the earthy Camembert Fontina. And since it is a stout, the stouts and the porters are, go well with your chocolate dishes. Just remember that since they use a lot of roasted malt and stuff in those beers. And the meat for this is shellfish and smoked meat. Glassware is a pint, becker, the stein, the tumbler, the mug, the side dale. Once we get into the porters and stouts, I like using the Dubell glass for that because this, this type of glass that has that tulip edge on it enhances the aromas. 
So uh, I like using that glass for these beers, these darker beers especially. All right, the beer uh, is not recommended for extended salad range, being a 6.2, but it's going to keep for a year or two or three. Uh, that's another reason uh, why we need to date, so we know how long to keep it or when it was put in the bottle. So, with that being said, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. Let me get this thing to work. Uh, commercial description on this one, this oatmeal stout has six different malts which give you give this beer a roasty malty flavor with chocolate overtones. This stout is so thick you cannot see through it and you may want to drink it with a spoon. Hmm, imagine that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the tablet is not cooperating with me tonight for some reason. All right. I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So I saw me flapping my gums. Let's get the cap off of this. Carbonation hiss sounded correct on that one, and it didn't go kapow. Let's go down the center and see if we can get us a little bit of head on this. Once again, while I'm pouring this, thanks to the guys out there at American Brewing for sending those beers out to me. I do appreciate it. Uh, even though this one doesn't have a date, I know it's fresh. It comes, it comes straight from the brewery, guys. So let's get this one over to the light. And as the uh, description said, it is pitch black. I do not see any light whatsoever coming through the beer. With that aggressive pour, we got a good finger. Uh, very chocolatey looking head on there. Looks very good in the glass. Looks like a stout should. And 6.2%, so it's a fairly low ABV stout. Another reason why we need to date. Alright guys, let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, that smells good. These stouts especially, now that it's turned colder, it's about, it's in the 30s outside now, so perfect time to fire up the gas logs, the fireplace, or whatever you've got, and uh, sip on one of these darker beers. Chocolate, roasted malt, a little bit of coffee, maybe even some brown sugar in there. It smells kind of sweet. Not getting any alcohol on the nose. Well, a big chocolate, roasted malt, and a hint of coffee is what I'm getting on my nose. Oh man, it smells so good. Ow! Looks good in the glass too. Look at the lacing it's leaving already. Just for me swirling it around. Awesome looking beer. Awesome smelling beer. Cheers everybody. Cheers guys. All you guys at that American Brewery. I appreciate it. Wow. That's delicious. Slight bitterness on the back end. I don't know what the IBUs are on this beer. IBUs, it says 30, which is not that big. So, tastes a little bit more bitter to me than, than 30 on this. Seems like it's closer to 40 or even 50 on the bitterness, but it is what it is. Tastes very good. Not overly bitter by, by no means. The lacing is awesome on this beer. Not overly carbonated at all. Wow, delicious. Coffee, chocolate, roasted malt. Maybe even just a little bit of tobacco too, I'm getting. Which reminds me, this would be a good beer to have with a cigar. Might have to fire one up here while I'm sipping on this one. This is a bomber, 22 ounces. Uh, I'm going to share the other half with the other half and see what she thinks of it. Pretty sure she's going to like it. Her tastes are pretty much in line with what I think, usually. Wow. Very tasty, guys. Good beer to have on a nice, chilly evening. Might have to fire up the gas logs over there. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug and comments on this one. Looks like a winner. Stick around. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. 
Oh man, this is delicious beer. And the cigar I had was an Ashton Half Corona. Nice combination. Went well together. Let's do the final chug on this one. Wind's blowing out there like 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour. Very windy and cold here. Nice night for it. Delicious style, guys. Wow. The chocolate and the coffee in this beer. It's amazing. I've been sipping on it now probably about 30, 40 minutes now. Very tasty, very delicious beer. Nice lacing left on the glass. These guys do an awesome job out there. Just need to get the dates on the bottle, guys. Final chug. delicious coffee chocolate a little tobacco roasted malt very well made beer very nice guys out there at American Brewery thanks again for sending those beers out here this is the last one out of the, the package that y'all sent me kind of sad that that is because every one of them were very good beers guys you definitely know what you're doing out there just need to get the date on the bottles, guys. Uh, so that being said, I'm going to give it an 8, guys. It's definitely an A beer. I'm going to give it to 8, which is an A minus. Uh, it would probably get to 9 if it had a date on it. So I'll look one more time. I mean, look. Make sure there's nothing on the bottle anywhere because there's nothing on the label. There is not. There is no dating on this this beer. So that would be the only way that it would, it would get a better grade if it had a date on the bottle. Uh, it's only 6.2%, so it's not like it's an 8 or 9 or 10% uh, stout, imperial stout or anything. So, need those dates, guys. Let's go see what the other guys got to say. Let's go over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 91 overall. I agree with that. It's definitely an A beer. And it got 83 in the style. I don't agree with that. Uh, I don't know what they're not finding that it does not fit that style as well. I think it fits that style very well. Nice chocolatey, roasty, caramel. Oh, wow, I mean, it's everything that you'd want in just a regular uh, stout. Uh, it's got everything going on as far as I'm concerned. Let's go over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 89, which is in very good range. Uh, it is a very good beer. I think it's just a tad better than that. I think it's in the low 90s as far as I'm concerned, guys. Uh, may even get to the mid mid 90s if it had a date. It's very delicious. Uh, just a slight hint of bitterness on there. For a 30 IBU beer, it tastes just a tad more bitter than that to me. But as it warmed up, that bitterness went away uh, a little bit. It wasn't quite as bitter. And when it, once it got to room temperature as it was when it was right out of the fridge. So, very tasty. I would buy this beer again if I could get it here. Uh, they were sending those uh, out to the East Coast. And the last one that I bought, I bought in North Carolina. They're not coming to Virginia. So, guys out there, let's fix that. Let's get these beers in Virginia. And you'll see more of them in the fridge. So, that being said, if you've had this one, uh, give me some comments back on this one, guys. Whether you like it, didn't like it. I did like it. It's very tasty. Well, it's not over carbonated. Very balanced beer, very tasty beer. So hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Hope you can join me then. See everybody.